Well, hello, everybody. I am Nick DeShare, joined by Johnny Jenkins here at the New York Bullshooter here in Niagara Falls. Now, Johnny, how long have you been with Arachnid here? Actually, this is my 18th year being with Arachnid. Well, we're excited to be out here. And how did you get involved in something like this, right? Because you're obviously an accomplished player on your own, right? But also assistant director at Arachnid is a pretty cool title as well. How did you get involved on the tournament side? Well, I started from playing and stuff like that. When I started playing, I started playing in 98. So I turned pro my first year and went to tournaments and I was winning and stuff like that. So I looked on the other side and putting the boards together and all this stuff like that. It just intrigued me. A guy, Steve Wiesner, a long time ago, he actually brought me to a couple of tournaments with him and I helped him set up. I played, helped him break down. So from there, I talked to Brad and I just started helping them little by little, you know what I mean? And the rest is history then. The rest is history. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Do you ever miss it when you're running those brackets and stuff like that? Sometimes you look at the field and sometimes you're like, man, I could beat them right now. Like, do you ever get that thought or want to get back in the mix sometimes? Actually, no, because, and I'm not getting a big head when I say this, but when I run a tournament, I know it's going to be efficient. I know it's going to be efficient. I'd rather for them to come out, have a good time, have a good tournament, and know that we did our job to make it well so playing does it because i have my events that i can't play so yeah absolutely i mean we get to see you at toc and the like oh. as well I, so it's always a pleasure um now speaking of big dart events one of the biggest things we look forward to each year is the uh arachnid bull shooter invitational shootouts that happens um can you talk to us a little bit about the experience about how that's been going and how we're going on to our third year of doing it i'm telling you i love that event and i wish i could play it i wish i could play it but the thing of it is that just the talent is just rising so fast a lot of people you don't think is going to make it are the ones that are actually getting in there and to see it actually being promoted on espn and all this stuff now it's it's blowing up in north america man it, it certainly is and honestly the tour itself has had a lot of changes right i mean we're talking about having online brackets using your phones and hot buttons for everything on top of all the other changes um would you encourage people that haven't gotten to a bull shooter in a while to come and try it again and see what's new oh definitely because this new program makes it a two men can run this whole tournament we need the people to help set up the boards but once the tournament starts with the apps coming to your phone now and all the stuff like that, they got their own thing going on versus anybody else. Like they got so many different apps you can use from CompuSport to this or whatever. But this is probably one of the best I've seen so far. When it's, well, so you don't have to sit at the board. You can literally walk around on my iPad like they do with TLC. Yeah, they do. see everything come out. Well, those iPad people are kind of scary looking at TLC. And I, I'm friends with them, but they, they, they scare me. Well. They, they kind of scare you because they, they put a little bit more pressure on it or whatever. We, we try to be a little bit more laid back. OK, so because there's too many people here, we're not on a time schedule. See right. what I'm so they only have 16 brackets for a thing, which there should run that. Bad. But we got like men, we have 128 men in the singles event. But I make sure to get to the board, but I'm not going to hound you. To, you know what I'm saying? I just make sure you're there to make it run on time. Absolutely. Well, we're excited to see how this weekend plays out. And of course, thank you guys for tuning into our coverage of the New York Niagara Falls Bull Shooter here for Arachnid. And thank you very much for being a part of the team. Oh, oh, I'm excited thank to you. be here. Yes. <laughs>